Hey, how have you been? It's been a while. I miss sitting down and recording for the podcast. Although I'll admit to this, it has not been part of my routine and somehow whatever schedule and program that I've been going through, it kept becoming harder and harder to incorporate sitting down and recording for the podcast um, as, as the days went by. So unlike all the other things that I do, for example, going to the gym and working out, um, sitting down and doing artwork, um, sitting down and writing, going to work day in and day out, those things have incorporated themselves into the system that I do and they continue to move semi-automatically. The reason I say semi, not semi, semi-automatically um, is because sometimes I choose to do them and sometimes I get you know, lazy or don't feel like doing them or I'm slacking, but they have become incorporated in a daily system and that system that routine became too difficult to bend the podcast into and and let it fit into that gear system but i want it to be i love doing the podcast i love sitting down and talking to you like this but let, let me take a few extra minutes and talk about this. So when I started, it was just audio and I was just sitting down with a microphone and I went on talking and it felt really good and it was easier to do. And then I, I traveled to London and there somehow I went through a phase where I felt closer to nature and I was daily going through some woods or a garden somewhere and I would just sit down and record and that became routine for me. It, it was a system that had the podcast in it and then I came back home and when I did that I decided to turn the podcast um, into a a YouTube channel as well. So that meant I needed to get my gear set up properly, meaning a new camera, the lightings in my studio, and obviously the microphone, which I already use for the um, audio podcast. Now, all of that is good, but it meant learning new skills and doing more work post editing and even during the recording so it it became practically a full on audio and video channel now that's all good and nice and i love it but it demanded more energy than i could provide it and being able to prepare for that to set down the time, do the um, setup and all of that. It, it required that initial phase and I couldn't provide that. Anyway, and then I traveled um, for a few weeks and I even took my camera with me thinking that, hey, I'll go places and it will be nice scenery and I'll take the time to talk to the podcast and record yet I couldn't do any of that. Somehow I was not in that mindset and considering the name of the podcast is Mind Universe, I was unable to explore the universe of my mind. I was unable to think those thoughts that allowed me to record this way. Even though, funny enough, I have met with people, sat down with them and talked for hours on end about things that I would sit down and record to the microphone, except the receptor was not a microphone, it was 
a person who was communicating with me. We were talking, we were exchanging ideas, we were having discussions back and forth. And it was like playing football, but or any sport that, you know, had a ball in it. Um, and instead of bouncing it against a wall, like I'm just bouncing a ball against the wall, I was doing that with a person who was, you know, giving interaction. They were bouncing the ball back and it was more uh, interactive and more alive. Not that the podcast isn't alive, but the magnitude is higher. It even made me realize just how you can go on talking for hours um, when you have someone else, which I've, I've been told to do the podcast and have guests. Um, I just haven't figured out how to do that yet as part of Mind Universe, although I am open to the idea. Anyway, I'll, I'll move on. Let's talk about today's subject. Um, and it has to do with feeling lost in life. And because we just started a new year, it's January 2022. And I'm, I've been thinking about my current state where I am and what I want from life and more specifically and let's say not specifically more easily defined what I want to accomplish within the next 12 months because you know that kind of highlights in your mind what do I want to do by the time the year end what do I want to accomplish what do I want to look back to this moment, January 2022, and be thinking, yeah, I made it. I, I was there, but now I'm here. Now, that's kind of an, of an optimistic viewpoint, but um, it's, it's a good way of optimism, not a naive way. Uh, but it could be more dire. You could be thinking that you don't know what you want or you're conflicted between many things that you want equally but differently and it's difficult if not almost impossible to have them all and the reason i say almost impossible because life has shown me that so many things that you would deem as impossible are not impossible. They are possible, just they are very difficult. But there's a huge gap between very difficult and impossible. Impossible means there's no way it can happen. Um, I, I'll, I'll, I'll give out a weird example. There's no way I can grow wings and fly like uh, a bird. That cannot happen by the anatomy of the human body. That's impossible. Um, there's no way to resurrect the dead, for example. Again, I'm, I'm just giving out uh, absurd examples just to deliver the point that impossible is defined by, by something that cannot happen. No way. And very difficult, for example, you want to be in two places that are far away from each other and you want to have several parts of your life merging but they cannot because they're distant or they almost feel like two different realms um, an example is because i've i've been traveling and it it got me feeling like hey there's something there in that different city and there's something that I have in this other city and I love them both equally and I will not and do not want to give up that the first part yet I wish I can have the other part and you know that's very difficult to accomplish but yeah back to the main subject wanting many things or several specific things equally but differently like each one of them you want it in a different way you cannot have all of them and you're confused you don't know what to do even though 
what's worse, you're not sure if you can even do anything about it. And another thing, there's the whole notion that you might not even have anything that you want. You just feel lost and purpose feels as if it has been poured out of you and there's nothing in the vessel inside you. There is no more purpose. That, that vessel is empty. It's drained and you wonder how that even felt like. You lack meaning, you lack purpose. And because we use the example of routine, you're just going through the days doing what you have to do. And it all feels like there's no meaning to it. You're just surviving, doing what you have to do. None of it, almost none of it, is something you want to do. And even the tiny fractions that you enjoy during your days, they're mincical, they're tiny, and they're just fillers between the emptiness. It's as if you're getting boosters every six or five hours to continue doing the mundane, the meaningless. And you wonder, how can you have that back? The desire, the drive that was within you, that has been poured completely out of you. How can you refill yourself? And I'll use another example rather than filling and being empty. Um, and this is a thing that I felt for a while now. And taking a break made me realize that I was feeling it. I was burned out for weeks and I wasn't aware of it. I was just exhausted the whole time, working on projects, doing work that I have to do. And I never thought until the moment that I did think it, I never thought, hey, I miss myself. And just saying it as cliche as it sounded, it felt real like, hey, where have I been? I miss me. And that's when I became so aware of an emptiness that was surrounding me, an emptiness that was within me. And, and that vastness, I would, I would depict it as a desert that's within you. It's a barren desert and you're standing in the middle of nowhere and you just realize that you've been there the whole time. And you recognize that desert. It was not a desert the whole time. It, it was filled with magic. It was filled with passion. It was filled with energy and desire, but now there's nothing. And, you know, realizing that I miss myself and, and well, I'll put it this way and putting aside my ego, which is something I got so good at. I, I don't let my ego get involved unless it has to. And here's the thing. Don't give up on your ego. It's necessary, but make it secure enough that when you need to say something and you feel like, hey, no, my ego would stop me. Be assured that, hey, my ego is solid, it's strong, it can stay aside, and I will say that. So I've put aside my ego and said, you know what? I feel weak, I feel empty, and, and I need help. And it wasn't a, a dire situation or a bad situation. I just needed a support system. And the support system is honestly a valuable thing. If you can find one, um, it can be in friends, in family, it's in someone that you trust and can open up to, someone who can be understanding, patient, and is a good listener, and someone with perception, meaning 
they will not just feed you what you want to hear like hey yeah every, everything sucks you're great and you know empty words no they will be able to be perceptive in their comments and their capacity to listen without interfering unless they need to say something that needs to be said um, so i i do have a support system which is a good thing so i talked to a friend and probably i texted two friends actually and i said that hey i feel empty i feel burned out and i miss myself it was humbling to admit that most of us you you wouldn't want to admit that you're going through some sort of weakness or you're confused uh, or that you're lost or that you don't know what you're doing or that maybe you're not where you used to be and it isn't a good place where you are now your ego might tell you hey don't admit that no just numb your feelings don't say anything don't admit to anything just be numb and find distractions and don't face that problem just cover the problem away and pretend it's not there but i'll tell you this vulnerability and admitting to such a thing it's a sign of courage it's not weakness it does not make you weak it does not mean that you have a problem or that something is wrong with you quite the contrary it means that hey you're dealing with something that is human it's part of your humanity and you're courageous enough and you're brave to courageous is brave you're courageous enough to admit it's there and to face it to acknowledge it and to accept dealing with it now dealing with it is a subject in its own you usually would rather um, curve away from resistance basically when you have options like facing a problem dealing with a difficult situation going to the gym I'm, I'm just throwing this there or playing video games you would curve towards playing video games you would curve towards and then have some resistance and then you would be like hey i'll just go work out at the gym which is a good option if nothing else but when you willingly or rather when you are aware that hey you have those four options and you decide to hey maybe i need to face that problem for a few seconds you decide hey yeah i'll face it but then uh, the first uh, sign of resistance and then you avoid it or you distract yourself or you reach out for your phone or find anything that um, has less resistance and the lesser the easier it is to choose to do that examples are besides playing video games and going to the gym although going to the gym is not a bad thing it's good if you go to the gym keep going um, examples are uh, using your phone uh, watching tv or netflix uh, listening to music binge watching youtube so the the less resistance the more likely you are to shift towards um, that thing rather than facing those things that are difficult i'll give you one example and then we'll move on doing this episode has resistance in it for me and the reason is i have to do a lot of things for a setup um, i do the lighting i fix up my microphone um, fix up the camera and have a lot of a lot of things that i have to do before shooting and then i have to record it and then do the post editing now all of that work there's resistance throughout the stages and 
I could just opt to doing something that I'm more comfortable with or rather something that comes more organically for me. But I want to do this thing instead. I want to record for the podcast, for the channel. Um, so there was resistance, but I decided to push through. Now, moving on, how do you push through resistance when you are faced with it? Well, discipline helps. Also, making small increments, meaning if you need to face something that is too hard or too difficult for you, make small steps towards getting there, meaning write down a list, do the first step. For example, let's, let's use the podcast, for example, just set up the, the setting, um, add the lights, um, put the camera there, prepare the microphone, and that's it for today. You can do the recording tomorrow. And the next day, maybe you can do a five minutes recording. And the day after, continue with the rest. And then after a week, do the post editing. So that's, for example, how to face a big problem or something that is that has too much resistance in it by cutting it into pieces. I'll, I'll give another example because I, I've been going to the gym recently a lot. Um, after taking a break. Now, going back to the gym, I didn't feel like it because I wasn't going that much and and my body was not as active. And I didn't know where to start. Do I work this muscle or that muscle? And I just decided to go, you know what, I'll do the main ones for a start. So I just did squats, deadlifts, a few core exercises and called it a day usually that's not enough but for 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 facing a big uh, source of resistance at the time i wanted to leave the gym and i only like spent 20 minutes uh, i was like you know what you did 20 minutes today that's good the next day i did 30 minutes and the day after i did more exercises targeting more muscles and then um, i i was able to I, I wouldn't say the resistance went away. I just became able to push through it that it was not there anymore. That's how I would describe it. Anyway, seeking meaning in life. That's, that's something I want to discuss more. I want to talk about it more. I mean, we're all trying. And that's been the thing I'm constantly feeling like I want to write about. I post about it on Twitter all the time. You're trying, you're doing what you can, and that's okay. That's enough. And and the reason I say that's enough is because usually you do all that you can and, and the result isn't half as good as you hope it to be. Sometimes it's not even close to what you hope it to be and and you need to know that that is okay because what else can you do you cannot control the result you're doing your best you're trying and you're not exactly sure what the path ahead you is supposed to be you're just pushing forward hoping that you're getting closer to the light and further away from the darkness so that's been the subject of most of my writings recently. I do miss being motivated to write. Whatever the motivation is, the inspiration rather, not the motivation, whatever the inspiration behind my writings has been, I haven't felt it for so long. And, and here's the thing, I cannot write if I'm not genuinely feeling what I'm writing. If my soul is not pouring into my words, they would be empty and, and I'd be the first to scoff at them and be like, no, don't write that. And I cannot write unless I feel something coming out of my soul. And, and I haven't felt that for a while now, but 
I have faith that it's it's gonna come because usually it it it's not something that I can I can control. It just comes and goes, comes and goes, and sometimes it takes a while. So yeah, I'll, I guess whenever it's there, that's gonna be fine. Anyway, I hope that I can get the podcast to be part of my routine so that I can do it more often and I like doing this sign with my hand now it makes sense anyway whatever you're listening to this from please support the channel give it a like a follow five stars whichever it may be and my hope to talk to you soon take care